for some reason, my form has gone. We were getting so close, and then it all started to fall away. What's up guys, JNO here and welcome to the channel and welcome to another episode of the AFC Wimbledon Return to Glory where we take AFC Wimbledon, a side that has only been around for 15 to 20 years and try and get them up into the Premiership, back where their former selves, Wimbledon FC, used to be and hopefully maybe win some trophies on the way. Today we have a couple of games for you against West Brom and Wolves. Both we need to win if we want to keep hold of automatic promotion in the Championship because for some reason our form has taken a dip. If we have a look at the table, you can see that currently we are sitting in second place, two points behind Aston Villa on 66 points. We are only one point above Nottingham Forest, who are on 65. And then Wolves are on 63 with Fulham and Bristol City bringing up the rear with 59 points in sit as far as playoff places go. So ideally we need a win against West Brom just to keep our momentum going and then the game against Wolves is vitally important because if Wolves keep winning as well that will catch them up to our point total so we need to get a victory here today. If we actually have a look at our form since you were last with us you can see there's a lot of draws and a defeat to Swansea. Swansea just seemed to have our number this year so hopefully today we can turn this form around because it's been four games without a victory which as you can see apart from this period here three defeats in a row our form has been pretty decent especially at the start of the season the West Brom team we are playing they like to play a 4-1-4-1 and they have played us three times we have won two matches out of three and they have players like Lallana in there for sure so they've got some decent players but it is five years into the future at the moment so they're probably getting a bit old at the moment so hopefully our team can have the legs on them. The team we are going with into this game is a very familiar lineup with Ravaglia in goals, Non and Wood as the wing backs, Beeling and Spence as the two defenders, Leach in the ball winning midfielder role with Gosling sitting in the box to box role. That has been vacated by Matt Grimes since his move because the board decided to sell him because the offer was too good. Petrasso and Kennedy as the wide midfielders and Moncur sitting behind Palombi who's put on advance forward on attack. Although I think for this game we're going to try and deep line forward on attack and see how that does for us. Okay, so team talk, we're expected to win by the fans. So that's what we'll say. And then assertively we'll give them a bit of faith. As per usual, that one line seems to always work, so might as well abuse it. As you can tell, it's quite early in the morning. I'm, I don't think I'm fully awake. I think I've got something in my throat. I was out drinking a little bit last night, so tiny bit of a hangover, bit tired because my daughter doesn't care if I've been drinking and doesn't care if I have a hangover. The stats are definitely looking in our favour, this, this should be a victory for us to hear today, the way those stats are building up for us, one half chance, two shots on target, three shots on target now, but no highlights, so a bit boring as far as uh, entertainment goes. But we finally have a corner, crossed in by Kennedy. Moncur gets onto it, Palombi over the bar. Even the commentary said, how did he miss that? Disappointing by Palombi. I, I struggle in this game to find prolific strikers. That seems to be my issue. It's Kennedy with another corner from the right. It's going to drop to Beedling. Plays it back out wide to Kennedy. Kennedy crosses it into the box, back post, drops the leech. Leech shoots, blocked. It's going to go off for a throw in. We're getting the chances, but we're not getting the goals, which is always a worry because you know what this game is like. You can get all these chances, you can get two clear cut and one half chance, and then somehow they counter and score against you, and you're left wondering what has happened to your life. We expected the wins, so we're all right, we'll say the same again. A bit boring, a bit unimaginative. But yeah, we've been getting a lot of draws recently, and part of that is down to the fact that my players aren't scoring. Okay, 60 minutes in, and Palombi is having one of his mares against so Tyler Walker. You can come on, you've been scoring a few recently. And we're going to up this tempo, run at defence. And hopefully we're about to grab a goal, because we need it. We need the three points here, boys. Less than that is uh, not ideal. In fact, we're going to go attacking. This could backfire against us royally, but we need a goal. I do not want to slip out of the top two places. Automatic promotion will be so much calmer than having to do a playoff. 
All right, Rudd hoofs the ball forward. It's headed on by them, but Leach wins the header. Monker controls it. All right, don't get tackled there. All right, please win the ball at some point. Don't be a West Brom attack. Don't be a West Brom attack. Oh dear, here we go. Well done. Great tackle, Leach. Thank you. Can we counter quickly, please? Run at him. Pass it. Inside to Leach. There we go, Moncur. To Gosling. Through to Walker. Walker. Kennedy. Yes. Thank you. Kennedy managing to get onto that tackle that dispossessed Walker. Walker looks hurt. He's just sat down. Not very happy with his life at the moment. But great ball through by Gosling. Slide tackle by Gunter. Through the back of Walker but fortunately for us it goes to Kennedy and Kennedy puts it away and let's drop this mentality and take off those more attacking aspects of our instructions as soon as this highlight is over which is taking a while but all right so we're gonna go to standard we're gonna take off run of defense and we're gonna go back to a lower mentality just see out the game I'll take a 1-0 win I'll take it Oh, no, 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 so no, no, get it out, Kennedy, go on, play it forward, play it forward, Kennedy, I'm not, sh there was a person at least aiming for the forward, great inception by Leach, though, well played, Leach, Leach has had a good game there, Gosling, forward to Walker, wow, we've got two injuries there, oh, no, 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 don't do this, my commentary when I'm not attacking is awful, isn't it? I just start going, no, 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 no. But Kennedy coming forward with the ball. Switches the play. Zanon. Zanon. Petrasso, have a shot. Get in. 2-0. All right, this has looked a lot more comfortable. They've actually changed to a 3-4-3. But we've looked a lot more comfortable late in the game. But that scoreline doesn't really tell the whole story. Because it took us a while to break the deadlock. All right, so we are now going to have a look at the substitutions. To be honest, it's nearly the end of the game. It's not going to make a difference, is it? All right, this should be the full-time whistle. So we do pick up the three points here today, which is vitally important for us to keep up with first place Aston Villa. We're going to tell them, well done, lads. I'm very happy with the result. So, yes, Aston Villa still won, unfortunately. So did Nottingham Forest. Villa beating Derby 1-0, Nottingham Forest beating Fulham 2-1. Now our game is against Wolves, and if Wolves manage to beat us after beating Bristol City 3-1, we could drop into the middle of this playoff area places. Great news for us as well, Mike Petrasso, the Canadian 25-year-old winger, is out for 9-12 days, so he is going to miss the game against Wolves, one of our best players. Okay, so it's game day against Wolves at the Molyneux, and... Record speaks for itself. Out of five games, we've lost three of them, drawn one, and only managed to win one. They like to play a 4-3-3. Wolves are one of the best teams in the league, so we're going to have to have our guard about us. Petrasso is going to have to come off, unfortunately. Uh, who can we put on? I don't think Waters really has the legs for a wide midfielder. So we're going to bring on Jordan Thompson. And otherwise, in fact, you know what? Palombi... I've not been impressed with you. And Tyler Walker did get through on goal last game. So we're gonna give Yeah, we're gonna give Tyler Walker a game up front. Otherwise it's going to be unchanged going into this one. The one thing we will do, and I prefer to do it in game, it's it's a mental thing. I seem to think that the tactics I usually play with control on, if I go into the game and then change it, maybe the other manager won't know I've changed my mentality. So we're gonna go for counter in this game. And I know I'm probably speaking out of my arse there because the match engine probably just reacts to whatever you clicked anyway. But hopefully, I am actually right and the match engine thinks I'm going to start on control because that is what I usually do. So it's game day again, second game day of the episode against Wolves at the Molyneux. Their stadium is nice. Compared to mine, it's very nice. I might have a look and see if I can upgrade the stadium again, but that would take transfer funds away from me. But 20,000 capacity isn't the biggest in the Premier League, is it, if we do go up? In fact, I'm pretty sure it would be the smallest, or at least one of. Anyway, the first highlight is Woodburn dispossessing Beedling. Thank God Ravaglia is on his toes there. 
Let's have less of that, Tom Beadling. All right, we now have Ravel Morrison crossing it in. Ravaglia again coming out and catching the ball. So good, good start by Ravaglia. Not seen much from the rest of the team, unfortunately. I mean, we look like we're being competitive on counter. But oh, wow. Route 1 football at its finest. They have destroyed us with a ridiculous hoof up the pitch. Woodburn is looking good. Mika just... If that is a ball, why why is um, Spence not jumping? Whoever that is, I mean, at least you tried. But surely there was someone in a better position to try and get that ball. I mean, maybe I should up the mentality. But I just feel like if I up the mentality... I'm going to end up getting annihilated because I've tried it a couple of times. What seems to happen is when I up the mentality, then suddenly goal after goal gets shipped in against us. Like we said, show me something else in the second half. So hopefully we can just sneak a goal in somewhere so at least we get a draw and Wolves don't catch up with us. I'm going to ask them to show some passion. Show some passion for the badge, boys. We're going to make a substitution. As usual, my striker is on a 6.4. Right, Laura Delavale, your turn to try and impress. We're going to put Thompson at Shadow Striker and Oldacre is going to come on at left mid. All right, let's see what you can do. Thompson in Shadow Striker and Laura Delavale up top. Can you come to the rescue of this AFC woman inside? I mean, maybe I should have gone defensive straight away because we've nothing has happened since we've gone defensive. But I feel like if I put the tempo up, if I change too much, I have a feeling they're just going to start scoring goal after goal. All right, our last ditch attempt is to change some instructions. We've gone with run with ball at defense and we've upped the tempo. 15 minutes, boys, to uh, grab an equalizer. And it looks like this second half is just gonna be dead. In fact, it looks like it could be end highlight. Ravaglia, well done, mate. Ravaglia just smacks it against his own defender. But Thompson has been found out wide. Oh, tackle straight away. Spence has played it to Leach, though. Leech get well. I reckon this is just the end highlight. I reckon it's just going to be a very long end highlight. Woodburn might get a shot away here, but he gets dispossessed. Ravaglia, don't smash the ball at one of your own players. All right, thank you. All right, Gosling. Yeah, it's going to be the end highlight unless something ridiculous happens in the dying minutes. Delavale's ref, referee. That is not where you blow the freaking whistle. You absolute wow. Okay, so you know what? The boys did pretty well for themselves, so we're not going to have a go at them. We have dropped into third place now. We are still tied on points with Wolves, but they have a better goal difference by two. Our goal difference is actually superior to everyone else's apart from Wolves, which is ideal, of course. Does also mean Forrest is still around the same area as us. We do have a bit of a cushion, a five-point cushion over Fulham, though. Looks like Villa didn't win. Villa drew, so... That is probably good for us and good for Wolves, especially for Wolves after that victory. We are still in contention for automatic promotion. But if we have a look at the fixtures that are left to us, there is... That looks like eight games left to the season. And our last eight games are against the likes of Derby, Blackburn, Newcastle, Brentford, Barnsley. We do have a game against Forest, which would be a huge one. Rotherham and Millwall. So apart from that Forest game, they should all be winnable. So we could still see automatic promotion and a championship title win. We definitely have to have that Forest game involved somehow. So what we might do is we might play four games and then do two episodes with the last four games of the season. Hopefully we're still in contention by that point. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, as always, to the channel. If you've enjoyed this episode, please make sure to hit that like button. Let's aim for 10 likes again. Don't know right now as of recording this if I hit the target from the last episode. But we'll still go for 10 as a light target for today's episode. Also, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I've been JNO. You guys have been awesome. And remember, have fun gaming.